Okay, so let's take a look inside the Briar Horse Crazy Surprise Horse Painting Kit. Collect all four horses. And let's see, it was $4.95. I got this at Dover's Saddlery. And each kit contains a stable mate and some paint and a, hi Mamacita, and a brush. Okay, that is cat approved. Let's take a look and open. Hey, Coco. There we go. All right, so it contains a little brush, a little short brush. Um, actually, it looks like, I can't tell if that's natural fiber or not, but it's nicer than I expected. Uh, the brush bristles aren't quite even at the end, but they seem, maybe they're natural bristles. It's a very soft, flexible brush. Um, it should be nice. You should be able to get into little places with it. And let's see the paints. Okay, it looks like we have standard brown, white, and black, which could be mixed to make many normal horse colors. Um, I don't know how light you can mix it. Maybe you can mix it to make a dun or a palomino. Um, obviously, you could do a chestnut or a roan or a black, black and white paint, chestnut and white paint. Um, good options, good solid colors. Nothing fun and fanciful, but good solid horse colors. Put that here. And let's see which horse I got. Oh, that's a pretty model. That's a nice stable mate. So it's sort of a turning, trotting, gelding. Nice little flick to his tail. Mane is on the left side. Sweet face. Look at this face. I can't see if I can get this in focus. It's got a sweet little face. Nice white model ready for painting. It's clean. It's high quality. Um, there's no like seam marks or anything. Seems to be your your typical high quality briar model. Let's see if there's anything else in the in the package. Ah, a little kit. I'm gonna move this over here. A little uh, booklet and it's just taped down so oh some serious tape it's pretty easy to open inside it's got a little instruction booklet surprise horse painting kit has a picture of my model I don't know if that's um, coincidence or not Three acrylic paints in horsey colors, one brush, one cleaned and prepped plastic model, and instructions. List of the other supplies you'll need. Has some photos for reference. Practice tips. Use practice drawings to plan your horse's markings. And decide how much shading you will want. Mix enough color. Very difficult to make the exact shade again if you run out of the first batch. Especially important for your main body color. Ooh, they're very clever. Really thinking through this. Finishing touches about how to paint the eye. Some information about model horses on the back. And then inside, let's see. Oh, nice. Lots of different, um, lots of different references. Information about the colors. Oh, wow. Leg markings. Info about hooves. This is actually way more educational than I was anticipating. Details about the eyes and noses on Appaloosas and skin there. Facial markings. Dapples, how to do dapples. Oh my heavens, look at this. They talk about different types of Appaloosa markings. Talk about the different rooms. This is much, much nicer than I was thinking. I was expecting it just to be the paints in the model. Um, let's see if there's anything else that looks like it. So um, overall, I would say for five bucks, this is a great little kit. Oh, Oliver's coming to see the kit too. Hi, Oliver. Um, but, I mean, you get a stable mate, which these are $5 painted. Hi. Yes. Good boy. Um, but you get to paint it yourself. You get some educational stuff about how to paint. That also includes information about horses in the brochure. Um, 
The little brush, like I said, is much nicer. Obviously, it's going to be tricky to get some of these details. I would probably get a toothpick to do some of the de details on here. Um, and then the paints, a good quantity of paint. Um, yeah, I'm like super excited, super stoked about doing this. Maybe I'll take some pictures along the way. Thanks for watching, guys.